Hey guys, welcome back to Barbsy Beauty. My name is Barbara for those of you who do not know. Today's episode is going to be about skincare. And I know I did a previous um, episode about this. Um, I talked about a few products that I had got from Images Vital C and Ageless line, but I actually decided to dabble a little bit into the Ormetic line. So I'll basically be sharing with you all a few of those items that I picked up. But before we even jump into this video, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. That way you won't miss another video whenever I do upload it. So the first product that I wanna go ahead and talk to you all about is going to be the Ormetic Cleanser. And this is a mild refreshing gel cleanser that gently foams away impurities, leaving the skin soft, hydrated, and clean. This nourishing complex with organic aloe vera and botanical extracts soothes delicate skin. The sainty texture restores softness and balance back into the skin. Yeah, so um, this is a really good cleanser. I will say that I do feel like I still get a pretty good wash. Now, even though this is um, basically all natural, so that means no chemicals or harsh ingredient was used for this cleanser. So it's all natural, all organic. And um, I still wanna say that it gets the job done. Like I'm someone who leans towards products that are a little bit more abrasive, um, a little bit strong in a sense, meaning that they have salicylic acid and kind of some ingredients that are going to be very intense. But this is very calming. This is definitely a good go-to. This is a good um, cleanser for people who have really sensitive skin. I actually uh, wanted to dabble into the Ormetic line because I just got into laser hair removal treatment on the lower half of my face. So I was looking for something that was a little bit less abrasive and um, that's a little bit geared more towards sensitive skin. So I decided to pick up a few items from the Ormetic line. And I wanna say I really love this. This cleanser doesn't really have much of a smell to it, which I'm okay with. You don't really get like a tingly feeling or any kind of peppermint feeling like I did probably from the Ageless line. This is definitely, like I said, geared more towards sensitive skin. It's not going to give you all the extras that some of the uh, clinically trialed skincare products would. So I really love this. I wanna say that this is definitely a winner in my book. And one thing that I like about this is that it foams up. I'm all about a good foamy cleanser because I feel like it actually is washing my face whenever a cleanser foams up. And I will say that I feel super hydrated and restored after using this. Like whenever I'm done washing my face, um, if I had a long night of makeup and fun um, and then I use this, I use this and I wanna say that it gets pretty much all my makeup off. I don't really see any residue left after I'm done using this. So I definitely would recommend this for anyone who is looking for a cleanser that is geared towards sensitive skin and um, also still gives you a good hydration and balance when it comes to your overall skin look. Next, I wanna go ahead and talk to you all about the Ormetic Balancing Antioxidant Serum. This is what she looks like. And I just love this packaging. Like this is actually made out of glass. Just feel super bougie having it. And then it has like the little wooden top. And this is actually gonna be like a dropper. Um, this packaging is just really fancy, which I love. This is an essential everyday serum that soothes the skin and strengthens to defense against damage. Cockadoo. Mm -hmm. What is this? <laughs> Cockadoo plum and beet root extract are powerhouse multi-benefit antioxidants that give skin a healthy glow. Nutrient-rich organic grape water and hyaluronic acid restore nourishment and hydration to dehydrated skin. So as you all can see, um, the Ormetic line is definitely geared towards people who are super dehydrated and is looking for more hydration in their skin. And I will say that it gives me that. I thought Vital C, was gonna be my number one go-to when it comes to hydration. But the Ormetic line is actually starting to give Vital C a run for its money. Like, 
I don't know. I get a lot of hydration whenever I reach towards the Ormetic products. I kind of have been going back and forth between um, the Ormetic and the Vital C. It's really hard to choose. They're both, honestly, both lines are really good. Um, but I would definitely recommend, like I said, the Ormetic line for people who have more sensitive skin and um, just have a lot of adverse reactions when it comes to skincare products in general. Um, I love this serum. I use it at night. I also sometimes will put this on in the morning underneath my sunscreen. I find that it gives me an overall better glow and look throughout the day as well as um, hydration throughout the night. So I definitely recommend this serum. I would recommend the serum just to about anybody. I really think anyone would have a good time with this. Um, yeah, it's a winner in my book. Next, I wanna go ahead and talk to you all about the Ormetic Balancing Peptide Cream. And this is what it looks like. It has like the little wooden top. Um, it actually has a yellow tint to it. And so this actually does have like a little bit of a citrusy scent not against it like i said you can put a little bit on before you go to bed you know if you with somebody go to bed smelling good <laughs> not too much i'm just kidding uh, this is great this is a great um night cream this is great for hydration and um, this is actually a plumping nightly repair cream that boosts and balances moisture depleted skin with botanical butters, hyaluronic acid, and organic plant oils. This also helps to visibly firm and smooth the skin's appearance while supporting a healthy, dewy complexion. Yes, I'm someone who suffers from dry skin. So this is like heaven. This is like heaven on my skin feels so good um now this does have a little bit of a tingly feeling whenever i put it on but nothing too drastic or crazy um it kind of goes away after a few minutes after using it so yeah not too much i like i said i don't think any i don't think anyone's gonna really have problems with this the hermetic line is really geared towards people who are sensitive so i would definitely recommend this again for people who have sensitive skin or someone who is looking for more hydration in their skin and they're not getting that this cream is actually clinically proven to improve hydration by 24 percent improve luminosity by 16 percent and decrease transpidermal water loss by 19 percent whatever that means basically you're going to be hydrated <laughs> your skin is going to be super hydrated you're going to get a nice overall glow after using this on um, the next morning my skin is just whew. why are you not subscribed next i'm going to go ahead and talk to you all about the balancing lip complex this is what it looks like and this is basically going to be an upgraded chapstick this ultra hydrating polypeptide formula improves the visual volume of lip contours. It instantly replenishes and hydrates to make the lips look naturally full. So yeah, I mean, this is not going to be like a lip plumper. I will say that it gives your lips a little bit more definition. Your lips will definitely feel more hydrated after putting this on. I personally was suffering from chapped lips and the chapstick and Vaseline just kind of wasn't doing it for me. So I felt like I needed kind of a medically grade skincare lip product in order to help that issue. And it did. I love this. If you're someone who doesn't really wear lip gloss or lipstick, I would recommend getting this as your kind of like everyday chapstick. Um, it's just really good in terms of hydration and you do kind of get a little bit of a plump, but you don't get that weird peppermint stingy feeling that you would get from like a lip plumper. Me, I, I don't really like lip plumpers because they can kind of be uncomfortable, but this doesn't give you that weird feeling. Pretty much put this on and you're good to go. I really like using this underneath my lip gloss or lipsticks. Kind of gives me a nice clean surface to work with and um, yeah, it's just kind of like a good little bonus. Okay, so as you all can see, I'm actually wearing something a little different than what I was just wearing before because I recorded this on a different day. I feel really embarrassed for doing this, but I totally forgot to mention another product that I actually picked up from Image, and it's gonna be the Vital C Hydrating Antioxidant A, C, and E Serum. Whew, that was a lot to say. But yeah, this serum, is amazing this is probably 
my favorite product from Image thus far. I thought the Vital C Anti-Aging Serum was going to be the holy grail when it comes to serums, but this one's definitely got it beat. This is what the bottle looks like. And it is made out of glass and it's like a dropper. And the back of it says, up your skin's daily defense system with this multivitamin serum. This concentrated essence is infused with the power blend of vitamins, essential amino acids, and plant antioxidants, along with a high polyphenol red rose wine complex to diminish the look for fine lines, dryness, and dullness. It also delivers maximum antioxidants for radiant, healthy looking skin. Yes, it does just that. Um, if you're looking for hydration, this is gonna be all the hydration you need in this little bottle. I use this about every other day. I don't use this every day because then it could be like hydration overload. <laughs> It'll just kind of be an oily mess. So I find that my skin doesn't need it every day, just about every other day. I will switch between this and the Ormetic Serum. And I just feel like I have a really good balance. I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin lately and I'm pretty sure it's because of this bad boy. So like I said, if you're looking for some hydration, I would definitely recommend this. I have already told my family about this product so I know that's what they're getting. I would really recommend this to anyone who's super dry or dull and just needs a boost of hydration. This is my favorite. Okay, lastly, I wanna go ahead and talk to you all about the Clear Cell Salicylic clarifying pads. This is what it looks like. Um, and they basically are just like these little wet pads. I know it's so hard to see. Swipe away impurities and excess oil with these portable deep cleansing pads. The combination of salicylic acid and glycolic acids exfoliate dead skin and helps keep pores clear. So I really lean towards these pads whenever I'm having like a bad day. Say I'm having um, a really bad breakout. I have whiteheads, blackheads, or some kind of lichen that's happening on my face. I will follow up with these after my nightly cleanse and usually see major improvement the next morning. I don't reach for these every day. I really only reach for these whenever I feel like I need to. It's kind of like a good little, um, it's like medicine for your acne. I really like this. These are supposed to heal, clarify, and restore reduce inflammation and irritation, declog pores and control oil production, and reduce the appearance of enlarged pores and blemishes. So yeah, if you're suffering from acne breakouts, these are definitely a must buy. Um, they also say this is great for teens and people who are kind of on the go. You can kind of use this to, I guess, wash your face after the gym, but I don't encourage that. I encourage everyone to always wash their face. This is not a, alternative to washing your face. This is something to do after you're done washing your face. It's kind of like a good addition. So I really like these pads. I wanna say that they help. These can be a little bit drying, so I usually follow up with some kind of serum or moisturizer after I'm done using this. But yeah, I do want to kind of dabble more into the Clear Cell line um, because I am acne prone, so I do have breakouts here and there. So these have really helped me. I really would recommend this to people who are acne prone, more so for people who are oily, I will say, because if you're dry, you'll just get kind of drier with this. You'll kind of want to follow up with some of the Vital C items or maybe some stuff from the Ormetic line to kind of balance out. But these are still good. I love these a lot and I'll probably get more. All right, that wraps it up, guys. That's the end of this video. Um, those are just a few items that I decided to get on a limb. Um, I just felt like I needed to add a few more items to my collection, like I said, because I started in laser hair removal. So I wanted a few more non-abrasive products added to that collection. So I can pretty much use those after my laser treatments and they seem to be working great. So I really would recommend the Ormetic line to just about anyone. It's great for sensitive skin, great for people who are super dry. Now, if you're super oily and your skin is actually pretty hydrated already, I probably wouldn't recommend this line. Maybe lean more towards like the Ageless line or maybe even the clear cell line, cause that's more, that's a little bit more drying. So you might get kind of a balance. I have noticed a major difference in my skin already. I don't know if you all can see, but I think my skin is doing pretty well. All I have on right now are lash extensions. I got my brows microbladed and I just have on a ColourPop's tinted moisturizer. 
So that's all the makeup I have on and of course some lip gloss. But yeah, these days I'm really not wearing much makeup and I'm loving it. <laughs> I absolutely love Images or Medic line. I'm really surprised that a lot more people are not actually talking about this line because it's actually really great. Super hydrating. I would really recommend it to just about anyone, especially to people who have sensitive skin and have had other problems with other skincare lines. I would definitely recommend this one because it's not as abrasive. Now I have uh, bought some more skincare products. I'll actually go ahead and tell you all. I went ahead and got Rihanna's skincare line. So as soon as that comes in and I start using those products a month after that, I will go ahead and give you guys my honest review about that. And um, then I will probably revert back to image depending on how that goes. <laughs> If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.